Victory often rests on the correct weaponry being in the right place at the right time. Even the most destructive weapons of war are worthless if absent from the battle. And so, with that Warhammer quote of the day, we will bring our kill team, that's what I call it, the, the full might of the Death Watch as it stands in my roster anyway. It is uh, with four tier fours and then Jurgen the Grey to back them up because he is awesome. And Logan Scorsgren is back. He, uh, I, I'm sort of happy that you guys get to see a character growth from the beginning. So you're following Logan Scorsgren here now with a, a single piece of war gear. That's the only upgrade he's had so far. And that's the one that gives two action points to every Space Wolf. Still good, even though we don't have a full team. We have three Space Wolves and two Blood Angels. Leonatus being in the front. We know all these guys, so I won't talk too much about today. But I did want to go in here and say back and say back. And then just read the flavor text for the Act 1. Because I never did that. We already did this chapter here with the first four missions, but let me just read this out. So this was Watch Station Helios. A hive ship has broken from the main fleet and is heading for Watch Station Helios. If the Turinids destroy the stronghold, the Death Watch war will be over before it begins. The kill team must board the hive ship and destroy it from within. And so now we are moving on to Act 2, where we have a, an entirely different setting. So here we go. And I'm going to pronounce this planet Crotox 4 which I hope is correct. The Imperium need to know where the next blow will fall so a defense can be mounted. To know the mind of the alien requires extraordinary methods. By chance, reports indicate that a broodlord was incapacitated in the defense of Crotox IV. If its brain can be retrieved, Inquisitor Harkon has the means to recover its secrets. And then we move into the first mission, regroup. As the Death Watch drop pods hurtle toward Crotox IV, the machine spirit in one malfunctions. The drop pod crashes into the Basilica, leaving one survivor from the squad within. With the element of surprise lost, the Death Watch must regroup and proceed with the mission. Very iconic mission. Let's get into it. We can slay the Tyranids on our worlds and blast their fleets from space. But their hunger? That is beyond our ability to slay. Varro Tigurius, Ultramarine's chief librarian. All right. And the quotes that I'm, the, at least the one I read for you today, was from the Codex of the Space Marines, 5th edition, in case anyone cares, page 74. All of the tier 4 guys, this is ideally the, uh, the, the team that I should optimally play every time, because eventually I will only be playing with tier 4s, and the best thing I can do is to get them as high level as I possibly can in order to beat the game. That sort of would be the main strategy. The other uh, teams that I've been showing you are more like fun team. thematic teams. Closely. Your battle brother has crash landed and alerted the enemy to your mission. Reach the objective area before it is overwhelmed by the Tyranids. All right. We're still in sort of easy missions here. I'm going to call it that. But it is getting harder. Trust me. Now, how do we want to approach here? Look in Skorskin is the weakest man we have. Now, <laughs> worth noting, right. This time, Njal Crosite was thrown up here. All right. So in regroup mi this mission, there's always one starting over here. And I think it's always the same one if you put it in the right uh, position on the planning track. So you can sort of decide which one goes here. But I always forget which one it is. So apparently it was Njal Crosite that was in that position this time. He's just going to save all his AP for next turn, and then we'll decide what to do with him at that point. He can use it to run towards his teammate or shoot at whatever is incoming towards him. Meanwhile, the rest of the team will need to rendezvous with him ASAP. So I'm going to do it like this. This does not take anything away from Logan. He needs to... Like going diagonally and then diagonally back here is as fast as walking straight. But this allows Jürgen to bypass him. And Jürgen has those movement benefits, so he might get extra movement here. Got one there. Let's take one more step then. Okay, he got one again. Lucky. So take one more step. There, no free movement that time. Okay. So then I'm hesitant to move up here. Well, let's bring up... Let's see, Amit is also really quick. Come up 
up here. Oh, and here we see the first enemy. Amit can better tank it, but I might also just throw a stun grenade in its face. We can get Leonatus all the way up here right now. Or we can put Jurgen here and then Leonatus there. Let's see if Skullskin gets any extra um, movement points from this. No, I think he does have a chance yet to return AP for every tile move. Yeah. Okay. Let's use Amit's extra movement. Come in here. All right. I, I suspected it. There are a lot of guys here. Oh boy. Okay. More than I had anticipated. More than I remember. All right. This will stun the highest possible amount of them. Four and four. This one's a shooter, so I want to stun that. I would love to throw it here, but then we get three guys moving on me. As opposed to the two. Oh, wait a second. So if I shoot here, these four are stunned. This guy will come in and attack twice. This guy will attack four times. If I throw it here, then this guy will come over and attack twice. And this guy will come over and attack twice. But there can't be more than two engaged with me here. So this will, in fact, give me fused retaliations. And we also get to counter against or retaliate against um, melee attacks. So that's quite lovely. Now I don't want to move Leonatus here because then whatever alien moves here will maybe attack him and not Amit and Amit, uh, Leonatus cannot retaliate. So we're doing it like this. And then we are ready to move in and slaughter the whole bunch. Like, Jurgen could run in here next turn. Oh, well, they're gonna move. But burn everything with his free fire. So, next round should be good for us. And now we just gotta tank some melee hits here. Oh, they can still attack Jurgen if they had moved here. So, Leonardo might as well have moved up. Alright. But then they block themselves. The AI isn't always that smart, but it's Turinid, so... Uh, in this game, I can really forgive that enemies are stupid, which is lovely. Ah, uh, let's see. Can you kill this guy? I'm kind of. I want Leonardus to come in here and do his uh, spinny move, but he needs uh, an entrance point, and we could c cut down this guy and run Leonardus in here, or we can cut down this guy and run Leonardus in there. I think I like that more. Now we need Amit to kill this one in the next blow then. Or Leonardus could do it. Uh, but he's gonna heal off of it, Mr. Amit, and he needs that healing. Okay, so he's not gonna be able to get out of the way unless we spend his, uh, or take AP from the next turn with him. Which I'm gonna do. Only three attacks here. The rest one must have run behind the back and come out this way. All right. Right now he can see Amit. Yes. So we need to move Amit. Damn it, Amit. But he healed off of killing that guy, so he's at full health again. We only get three free attacks here. If I move one, we might get a shot on one over here, but that's the same as spending an AP for it. So not worth it. Should have maybe used an ability here. Ah, okay. Oh, and he would not have gotten an extra attack here. All right. Can uh, can you kill this guy? No. So you are gonna need some help. Jurgen can come over here and flame him. Learn to play. Not that kind of flaming, Jurgen. Learn to play, noob. Oh boy, Skullskin, you really need to get some accuracy going. Jesus, that was embarrassing. I hate looking at that. Okay, we are going to have some trouble on the other side, but it's bearable. Now, Nyal Crowside ain't afraid of nothing. He's just going to pop his accuracy boost and then murder these two fools that are coming at him. And the next. And then he can move a little bit as well. Good. 
So let's hope we don't get murdered here. They are gonna attack us a lot. Ow. Yeah, they're hitting Emmett here at least. No retaliation though, that's embarrassing. Or unfortunate. Should have had at least one. Now, let me think. What was I thinking? Do 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 had a thought and then I lost it. I don't know. Damn it. We can save AP again for the next turn, but I prefer to do it on the turn where we will then uh, overlap with the accuracy boost. So I'm going to shoot once and then take a move and a move. Sometimes he gets free AP as well. Now, Leonatus would love to finish this guy because he will heal off of it. But I really think that we should feed it to Nyal. Oh, sorry, it's just Logan if we can. So now he's taking more than halfway. Logan, skull skin here. You have three shots at point blank range. Please don't disappoint. He did not. Good. So he got a little bit of XP, a little bit of XP out of that. You can take a shot at this one. And if he doesn't kill it, then Emmett will finish it off. Being tier four, more important to get XP on him. And then we move. What is the mission objective again? We need to keep Mial Crowside alive for eight turns. That is the plan. Don't worry. Keep moving, but slowly. Captain Leonatus, come up this way. Logan Skullskin on the move. And Emmett can move over here. And move again. More AP. Move it, soldier. Yep. And turn. Here they come. Lots of them. Now, Mial will save his AP. Can he hit anyone with a grenade at this range? No, but just save your AP. Good, Emmett can get... If you just go one over, he is able to overwatch most of the area where the enemies will be moving over here at least. Let's come up here. I think there's someone coming here. No, I was wrong. Okay. Never mind. Keep on the move. You can keep moving. Yeah. And Logan will have to try to catch up here. He should be able to. One extra move. Okay, only one. Uh, is this good enough? Yes. Cover them, Emmett. didn't get a single extra shot, but he does have a 30% chance on every shot to get another. It's not quite like having Ultramarines on the team, but it's nice enough at, le at least. Alright. Let's see. Now you, Nyal, you activate your thing. Kill the ranged unit in the back. Much appreciated. And maybe take out one of the melee guys coming for you. Then you have a grenade to throw as well. Alright, good. Now, Jorgen, you're up. Let's see, one more move. But Amateur should take this kill. Just have Jurgen move all the way. You can still have Amit Overwatch like that. Even if Leonardo's moves up here, I think. Yeah. Good enough. Logan, come up. 
Not a single extra move. Unfortunate. All right. Come on, Abbott. Get him. Yeah. Nice. Good cover. Oh, he's getting extra attacks now. Oh, a lot of them. Nice. More are coming. Rage June is coming from up here, apparently. Logan, you can try to finish off this guy. Or not finish off, but take it down. Not even with all your AP. Okay. They're Nazis. Take this kill. Then Jorgen can get two free shots here. I think. Yeah. Well, we could get one more if I move one more. Free fire. Oh yeah, he's gonna try to shoot at those out of range as well, but that doesn't work with the flamer because the flamer is not doesn't work like the other guns. It's an area attack in the range that it do, uh, is, not like a gun that can sometimes break the rules. So, yeah. Oh, but he might try to burn Donatus. Oh, he didn't hit him. Good, good, good. One more. Let's see if. Amit and Leonatus can pick up some kills here. Yeah. Not Amit. Oh yeah, Amit, yeah. Another good Overwatch situation. Leonatus come up there. And... What the hell, we'll have Jorgen Overwatch behind him here. Yeah, I'll just take a shot at this guy. And misses. That was not intended. All right, we'll leave it. That's the thing about not upgrading his accuracy because he has that ability. So then, when he doesn't have the ability up, he will sometimes miss more of the time, more often. I think it's a worthy trade-off. Still, I got more incoming. Six turns remaining or something like that. Four turns only. All right. Good. Now, Logan, please. Yes, you got him. Now, carry over AP. Jurgen is overwatching. The Nazis moves a little bit up. It's not going to be overwatching. Like, his short range gun makes him almost useless at overwatching right so you can sit in here that's fine corner camping uh, Amit maybe take one step up why are you unable to move you are stunned that means that we have an enemy on a board that is doing some nasty shenanigans let's try to identify him here we have Oh no, this, this is a different one. Dominion, gain accuracy, damage, and crit on seeing a turn it killed. So he gets stronger and stronger. He doesn't get extra AP, I thought he would. Ah, and they get a little skull up here next to the symbol there. Ah, it's just to note that he's an elite. He gets what? Accuracy, damage, and crit chance. But we don't see the one that is stunning my guys. But clearly, Emmet is stunned, and it's not by my hand. So yeah, we can move over and then open fire. It'll be fine. Even if we get stunned a few times, it should be okay. And it may be that we have already killed the one, and ah, that's unlikely. But we'll see it shortly. They come. Outnumbered, but not outgunned. We still don't have vision. I've checked these already, but I'm checking them again just to be meticulous here, maybe? No, still. No signs of the guy that is stunning us. All right. Is anyone stunned? 
No one is stunned. Nice. Now we... Uh, oh, we have already carried away. Yeah, so we use the aim ability. And murder some fools. There are more ranged units coming in, apparently. So it may be that we don't get to fire that overwatch shot with the Nardis. Come on, Logan. Thank you. Amit takes this kill. Then moves up and overwatches in this direction here. It's also help against those range guys. And Mial could move, but I don't know where I would move. I believe we have to go here after the mission finishes. So he's close enough. Ah, okay, so Leonardo does get to use his overwatch shots. That's nice. Ah, but here he has been fired upon. And there it's gone. Lost. Now we could to try to do some cool stuff with Leonatus and his uh, Black Rage, but it has a chance of backfiring if I end up shooting. A if I place him here, I'm thinking he will be able to see down this line and he may shoot at these guys, so I'm gonna move them with that in mind. So one more, and Logan needs to also do that. Didn't get a single exit move, too bad. Now come out here. Oh, and it may be worth moving this one first. Let's use your ability. And also the other one. That lowers its accuracy, but I hope it's worth it. Yeah, 1000. Alright, now you use your Black Rage. <laughs> Let me double check. I don't think you can hit any allies here. But it is definitely breaking the range limit. And more. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> so bullshit. Breaking the game rules. Alright, we got a few extra kills for free. Move one up with Nyal. And aim for a ranged unit. And this guy in the back. Oh, well, here we have something. Disable all Space Marine at active abilities with a psychic scream. Okay, that's really bad. Jesus, that's, that's the kind of thing that loses me the game or the, yeah, uh, later down the line when we are fighting worse enemies than these and they get these kinds of abilities, then, then it's gonna be tough. But for now, we are making it through. I'm gonna just overwatch here. You can take a step up. Watch just to the same side. Leonatus is not done, technically. Okay, yeah, he can just overwatch here. Only two shots. Are we getting close to the end? This must be the last turn. One turn, yeah. So we just gotta survive the next enemy turn and we should be able to do that. Okay, Amit weakens this turn it. Okay, maybe do a little bit more than weakening it. Then we can, ah, it's already weakened. Let's just shoot at it. I ah, hear it might be worth stepping closer to get the rapid fire bonus, 40% extra shots. And we got it. Nice. Uh, here we carry over AP. Analysis takes the initiative here. Good enough. 
Jürgen. I don't want you to hit your ally when you are overwatch. So step up here. Amit. Anything to shoot at. Let's go here. You know what? Let's spend his uh, movement AP and come up here. Good. Nazis is getting surrounded. Oh no, whatever shall he do? Oh no, now one of them is firing missiles at us. Which I wish they would have made another animation for the guy that gets all the ability that gives missiles. Here's one catalyst, crit immune and heal 30% of max health at the end of enemy, end of enemy turn. Yeah, that's also a really strong one. Not for the small guys, but again, for later enemies that have 10,000 HP or so. Maybe that's too high, but at least 5,000 is uh, something I've seen recently. And uh, then with that, we can end up with a guy healing for almost 1,000 HP per turn. This makes it more hard to murder them. Harder to murder. Are we... What about the timer? Survive the Xenos attack. Okay. Let me take that kill. Now I just can get this one in here. Yep, easy. Yeah. Aim. Shoot at the one that's crit immune. This is the one with the missiles. Kill that. Okay, grenades can't hit anyone. No. Renatus. Let's shoot at this one. Ah, close. That's fine. He is gonna live, I'm sure. These two guys just are watching that direction. Not sure why I would want to move Nyal up here. Doesn't matter. End of the turn. And as long as Leonatus doesn't die there, then we should be good. Okay, he took up some. Scratches, but he'll be okay. And then... Minus one turns. <laughs> Regroup across the bridge. Yeah, we do have to extract here. Okay. But we should be able to do that this turn. Yes. Everyone is in position. We can even take a few shots before we do. Farm some final XP on the way out. Alright, okay. now let's take this one. You might as well uh, do... Nah, not yet. Wait. This one you just need to hit. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, can he not get out now? He can. He needs to use the reckless thing. That's why it's good for situations like this. Got him an extra kill. Alright. Then, yeah, you get one shot on something. Let's see what everyone else is doing before then. No enemies from the other side at all, so maybe we... We can run up here and free fire, and we can use the uh, wolf here thing here to get extra AP for all space wolves. We can do that right now. Plenty of AP. Now, we need to be able to make sure that we can come back again. Uh, 
I'm thinking about getting him over here. Then we would need one, two, three. No, no, one, two, three, four. Because Niao here is okay to shoot from here. He can shoot this guy in the back. This one has an extra uh, AP every turn. Look at that. So yeah, as long as Emmett has one AP to move here and Yal has one to move here, then Jürgen can take this spot. So he needs one, two, three, four. Right now he has five, so he needs one, two to come up here and he needs one to shoot this one. Yeah, it's not gonna work out. Uh, we can do the free fire. Oh, there was one, another one behind. Very lucky. And he is going to try to shoot at the other guys, but it's not going to work. Limitations of the Flamer. If he had a boulder or a melter gun, all of these would hit. So, well, at least attempt to hit. They would be in range. That's what I'm trying to say. Another one. You have extra AP to move out. Ah, I should have used his borrow AP for next turn instead. Now he can't shoot. Shoot. Oh, I shouldn't have used uh, moved Jurgen yet. I was hoping to get a kill with Logan here. But now I ended the mission by moving on to the extraction, Marcus. Oh well. Good mission. Clean cut. And we should be able to level some guys. Nightbreaker again. Having a, I have like three of those. Alright. I hope we unlock another tier 4 guy throughout the playthrough here. So I have four, five tier 5 guys. That are tier 4 guys. That would be really, really good. You can sail the Space Marines and war gear for extra requisition points. Indeed. I have done that a little bit off camera, I think. Alright. Yeah, you were already saving up AP. Ah, look at that. He's just a little bit short of the 12,000. So we could give him just one level here and let's hope that we get more than 4,000 on the next mission, which I think we will, so it should be fine. So give him maybe a, a bit of a crit. This one increases crit chance, so by 20, but it's only 22 at the moment. He does have nice synergies with having high hit points. Um, so that's also a thing we could do, give him more, but he's already got 305. Let's give him a crit increase and then save the rest. Logan Skorskin just needs accuracy right now. Unless he can get an ability, but no. All the accuracy. We do have to watch out for whether or not we end up in a situation where I'm giving him too much accuracy, but he's actually going to lower the accuracy of our Space Wolves occasionally. Yeah, he doesn't have anything else affecting accuracy, so there's nothing, no harm in boosting it as much as possible here. And that's going to make him a way better soldier. Amid Bloodletter also needs accuracy as far as I recall. Yeah, a little bit. He can do with one more of that. We should maybe save up for his third war gear slot. That is also an option. Look at him. Look at him go. And he does have the, the uh, tier 4. The Thesium. Oh, we have a we have enough requisition for a pack. Let's go and buy one. It's not here. Open packs. Buy pack. And what we get. Yeah, we already have this bolt pistol. Here's a... I think I already have one of these, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, see, this is good. Another frostbite. Nice. We can add that onto our... Scarf Star Strider here. He needed a better gun, because the one he here he's using here is good, but it's not like... Uh, usually the ones that are faction-specific or chapter-specific are... 
better, and this one is better in my opinion. Range 7, range 6, but the volley count is higher on the other one, and you get the 20% chance for returning AP. So now we have that on two, the two smaller guys, and we have it on Logan, so that's kind of cool. They are a little team in their own. These guys have flame specialization, but it's not like unlocked on them yet, so it doesn't matter for them. Oh, and we have Kill Forge Sun here. Okay, then you get a plasma gun. All right, and that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.